Good morning. This is uh, Tuesday, July 11th, and uh, I'd like to begin by wishing Carrie Herrick a happy birthday. And hope you have a great day, Carrie. Uh, Alan takes you up somewhere special. And celebrate who God made you to be. We love you. Today's devotion is the spiritually vigorous saint. Philippians 3, that I may know him. Gnosko him, big word in the Greek. A saint is not to take the initiative towards self-realization, but towards knowing Jesus Christ. A spiritually vigorous saint never believes that his circumstances simply happen at random, nor does he ever think of his life as being divided into the secular and the sacred. In other words, I'll act this way at work and this way at church. He sees every situation in which he finds himself as a means of, of, of obtaining a greater knowledge of Jesus Christ. And he has an attitude of unrestrained abandon and total surrender about himself or herself. The Holy Spirit is determined that we will have the realization of Jesus Christ in every area of our lives. And he will bring us back to that same point, the Holy Spirit, over and over again until we do. Self-realization only leads to the glorification of good works. Whereas a saint of God glorifies Jesus Christ through his good works. Whatever we may be whatever we may be doing, eating, drinking, or washing the disciples' feet, we have to take the initiative of realizing and recognizing Christ is in it. Do all the things that we do, do we do them as unto the Lord? Do we do them for him? Right from the right from the start, no matter how simple. Every phase of our life has its counterpart in Jesus Christ. Our Lord realized his relationship to the Father, even the most menial tasks. Jesus, knowing that he had come from God and was about to go back to God, you talk about exciting, still took up a towel and began to wash the feet of the disciples. Isn't that powerful? The aim of a spiritually vigorous saint is that I may know him, Jesus. Do I know him where I am today? That's a great question. Let me say it again. Do I know him, Jesus, where I am today? If not, I'm failing him. I am not here for self-realization. That's what the world pushes. Know yourself. Self, 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 self. Me, me, me. It's not about self-realization. We're not here for that. We're here to know Jesus Christ. In Christian work, our initiative and motivation are too often, are too often simply the result of realizing that there's work to be done. And we must do it. Yet that is never the attitude of a spiritually vigorous saint. His aim is to achieve the realization of Jesus Christ in every one of those jobs. The challenge I have for us today is do we realize Jesus Christ where we are today? Right now, where you're sitting watching this, do you realize Jesus Christ? Or perhaps the job we're going to go do today, will we realize Jesus Christ within it, not self? Let's pray. Father, I thank you that uh, we have this wonderful opportunity to know your son at this level. And our prayer today is, Lord, that we would indeed set aside self. The good works we do would be for you, that you would be glorified, not that we would be glorified. So, Lord, guide us and direct us as we walk towards that which you'd have for us today. And may, may you be realized in our hearts and minds as we do it. We ask this in Christ's name. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.